So we've had the Samsung Frame TV for about a year now, and we thought we'd let everyone know if it's actually worth it and if you should buy it this holiday season. So we'll go through our experience, we'll go through how reliable the TV has been for us, and if we were to buy the TV again this year, would we make the purchase or would we buy a cheaper TV? So far, we've loved the TV. It's been great. It's been great just to watch TV on. It's been great to have photos on in our house. Lots of people walk in and they're always impressed. They're like, what? <laughs> is, that, is that a photo or is that a TV? I don't know. Uh, we've had like two friends now that have been like, whoa, that's actually a TV. Uh, and it's kind of cool. Like obviously, if you've been around the TV long enough, you're gonna know that it is a TV, but people who are just walking around and have been to your house for the first, second time, yep. uh, it doesn't look like a TV because it's just mentally, it's not there. Like the frames that we have are beige. It's not really looking. No, it blends into our house like really well. And if you're just like walking past it, you're not thinking about looking for a TV, you won't know that it's a TV. So it's like really cool and impressive to show to all of your friends. And it's kind of like a cool conversation piece to have. Yeah, and it's nice because it doesn't stand out in our room. Like that's my favorite thing about the frame TV is that it blends into our room and it doesn't feel like this awkward black TV that's there. So far the TV has worked as advertised. The art mode is quite impressive. We've had art mode on almost every day all the time and it's just been amazing. Like having it on, uh, there's a motion sensor on it and whenever we walk by the TV goes on so I don't even notice it being off. The TV just kind of always on whenever we're around the house. Sometimes you notice it if you sit on the couch too long, then it turns <laughs> off because it doesn't sense motion anymore. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of the one time we notice. We're like, oh, we're being very lazy. But other than that, it's really awesome to, to use, and I love the motion sensor. It makes it totally worth it compared to other TVs if you want it for art mode. Yeah, and the art mode is really neat because um, I have an iPad and I like to draw on my iPad. So I've put up like custom things. If we have Thanksgiving, I'll put like Happy Thanksgiving or Merry Christmas. Or if it's one of our family members' birthdays, we'll make a special like birthday screen for them. And that's really cool. So we've used the TV for multiple different purposes for Netflix, watching sports and YouTube. And they've all passed and been quite successful mm -hmm. for our experience. Uh, I've enjoyed watching my sports on it. I kind of cast my game center for NHL and it works great. I use a Chromecast to connect it so that works perfectly and watching Netflix is fine with the TV shows so this is a 4k TV the one that we have and the quality is I would say very acceptable. Yep I would totally agree you don't notice it's not any different than any normal TV even though it's like an art picture frame type TV it works just like a real TV you can watch your TV shows everything else is just like a normal TV but better. <laughs> Now I would note that if you're wanting to get the most high quality picture from a TV, this is probably not it. You're probably better to go with an OLED TV. So when we're watching movies that have a lot of dark scenes. Such as like The Mandalorian. Around the dark sections kind of haze a little bit and there's a little bit of white color kind of popping in on those blacks, which is not like perfect. It does a fine job and it only if you're really bothered do you notice it. But if you're wanting to watch a movie, that has a lot of dark scenes and you want the most clarity, then probably an OLED TV is the way to go. Yeah, so if you were someone who wanted to like watch movies in your basement, I wouldn't recommend this TV for you because if you're gonna do that, then get a better quality TV that's focused on those kind of deep dark blacks and that kind of thing. But if you want one that's gonna be in your main living space that you're not gonna be using like all the time for watching movies, then I would recommend the frame. And the thing I like about QLED is great technology. And the thing I like about it is our TV is on almost all the time and we don't have any screen burn in. And that's been really impressive that we can have the TV on with a custom frame that's always the same. There's a that's white true. outline. And to have that not kind of stay on when I'm watching other TV shows that other OLED panels uh, on those fancier TVs do have issues with sometimes. So it's nice to know that if you buy this TV one year in, you're not gonna have that OLED burn in. So also our experience with art mode, you, if you're looking to dump a bunch of photos on and have like a slideshow of all your photos kind of go through on art mode, you're not really gonna get that with this TV. There is a limit on how many photos you can upload based on a certain amount that's stored on the TV. Um, we haven't had an issue yet on uploading photos. No, we also haven't used it as a slideshow. Yeah, we definitely thing. want to use it as an art mode. We want people to think that that's an actual piece of art, of art yep. which I assume kind of what they were going for. And 
There was some complaints saying that once you upload the photos, uh, you run out of storage and you can't upload anymore. You can go in on the Smart Things app, which, which is the app how you upload those art mode photos, mm -hmm. um, to delete them. So you actually can delete more photos so you can upload uh, more photos in the future. So you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, and right now we have quite a few that we switch between and we have not had an issue with running out of room. So the frame is really good with its settings. Usually you can match it pretty close to the lighting in the room so that it looks like a natural picture on the wall. Um, but there have been a few times where it's like strange lighting or you have a mix of artificial and natural light that you just can't get the color exactly. Either it looks too warm or it looks too cool. So that would be one of my complaints that it's hard to match exactly to some lighting. So for reliability, I've been very impressed with the Frame TV. We have the one from 2020, and I would assume the version from 2021 follows all the same technology, but they actually made it thinner. But yeah, the reliability has been great for us. Nothing's broken down. The mount that you attach to the wall is really high quality. It, it hasn't fallen down my stairs yet, so that's kind of important. I was kind of freaking out about that for the first little while, but that's a good mount. Yeah. We have it in a pretty sketchy spot. If it fell, it would fall <laughs> all the way down the stairs. So so that, yeah, that's safe. And the TV works as advertised. The software is just as fast as it was when we bought it a year ago. So overall, would we buy this TV again this year if we had the chance? I would say yes. Yeah, I would say yes too. And it's been a great TV for us. We've had tons of compliments. I've been super pleased with how it doesn't take up much space in our upstairs in our living space and it allows me to watch TV when I want upstairs. So I've been super happy with it. I don't have any regrets paying a little bit extra for the features that you get from the Samsung Frame TV. And I definitely would buy it again. And if you buy it during Black Friday and or on Boxing Day, you probably can get a pretty hefty discount. We got probably about $500 off when we bought it on Black Friday last year. So if it's around that time of year, it's kind of the best time to buy the TV. So if you're interested at all, I don't think you're going to regret it. And the last thing I would add is that if you're looking for a present for maybe your mom or a woman in your life or your wife, um, it's a good compromise if you want to have a TV in your main living area, <laughs> but your wife doesn't want it to look like a TV. It's a good selling feature. <laughs> well, I hope that helped you decide if the frame TV was right for you. I want to help you out just like I would my brother. See you in the next video.